What's up guys, my name is John and welcome back to another fishing episode. In today's episode I am going to be going over my 2022 carp fishing campaign at this huge 800 acre reservoir just behind me here. The story starts back in spring. I came carp fishing here with my good buddy Hartson. We only had a few hours to fish so I wasn't really expecting much and it was my first time fishing for carp at the reservoir. And to much of my surprise, it didn't take that long. The rods had been in there for maybe a couple hours and I was able to get myself on a decent looking common. We're on, we're on. It is a carp. That's definitely a carp. It's a small one. No way. Yeah, yeah, it has to be following. It can't be hooked too. I only have one hook on that. Let's go! Oh <laughs> yes! Oh Thank you for the assist. Dude, that carp took a huge run yeah, for a little guy. Size. Okay, well there's the first carp of the day. Hartson uh, didn't think we were gonna get on one, but we did. Just a small one. Not even worth weighing, probably about three pounds. Very lively though. Perfect looking. At the time, I wasn't thinking about doing a campaign, I was just fishing to have some fun. But after catching the fish, I decided to give it a go and spend an entire season fishing the reservoir for carp. Summer got pretty busy and I was out fishing all over the place. But coming on to August, I finally decided to start my carp fishing campaign and I came down to the reservoir for my first session of the season. So today I am at one of my favorite local reservoirs and I'm going to be doing some carp fishing. It's quite early in the morning, it's about 10 a.m. So I have the entire rest of the day to try to catch one today. So I'm just gonna set up some rods, get them cast out and uh, cross my fingers, I can catch a carp. Let's get started. The first day went just as expected. I sat next to three motionless rods for hours on end. Fortunately, I managed to catch a small carp at the end of the day. We got one. I don't know if this will be a carp because I downsized the hook on this one. But we finally got a bite. Whatever it is, it's very small. Is it even still hooked? I think it might have come off. No, nope, still there. Okay, I'm gonna need the net. I don't think this will be a carp, but we'll see. It's waking up a little bit. It might be a catfish. What is this? I think it's just a tiny carp. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Well, I only had to wait all day, but it finally happened. This is a baby carp. I downsized the hook to a size 10. I was using size 6 earlier. Finally hooked one. 
So it's just about to be sunset. I've been pretty much here all day, but I finally was able to get in a fish. It's a pretty small one, but this little guy has saved me from going home on a blank today, so I will take that. And not a scale out of place in this little dude. Right towards the end, we, we got another bite. I can't believe it. <laughs> We've been sitting here all day with no bites. And as soon as I downsized my hook, I started to get them. Let's go. This is definitely a carp. It's gotta be. It feels a little bit better. Not, not that big, but a little bit better than the last one for sure. Oh, he just came off. Are you serious? What just happened there? Man, that really hurts. After not catching anything all day, to lose one just like that, that looked to be a little bit better than the last one, that's painful. It was only a few days later, I went back to the spot to see if I can catch some more carp. Not knowing at the time that that was gonna be my best session of the campaign. I just finished hauling all my gear to the spot. I haven't been able to come back and fish the spot the entire week, but I did come by yesterday just to scatter some bait around the area. I put maybe like three pounds worth of sweet corn just all around. Hopefully that will help draw some fish in. Anyway, I'm just gonna focus on getting the rods out early to get a little more time to fish today. Hopefully we can get an early carp today. So let's just get the rods out. I hooked this one, nice. Oh, this is definitely a carp. It might be a good one too. Finally got a bite. It's almost uh, it's almost noon now. Been here for like two hours, two and a half hours now. It feels like it's uh, dragging on something. I think I got like a, a little branch on as well. I'm gonna give it a, a little more line. I need to get the net ready. All right, let's go. Let's get this fish in. Yeah, it just got me snagged around something. I'm gonna try to pull it from a different side, maybe. I can get it unsnagged somehow. It feels like the fish came off. It does feel like the fish is not there anymore. No, the fish is still there. I can feel it. Oh! I think it may have just come on, on hook from wherever it was. All right, let's go this way now. This fish is staying so deep. I think it did came off from wherever it was because I'm gaining line now. What is it? I can't see it still. It was snagged on a tree, look. There's the... There's the log it was snagged on. Oh, it's a carp. It's a good one too. It's better than the last one. I right, take it slow. I don't want to lose this fish. Come on. Come on, come on, 
on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! I've got him. Hey. That was a good fight. It's a pretty decent fish. It's probably maybe like a 10 pounder. We'll have to see. But seems like the pre bait worked and I was able to get myself a nice carp. Okay, so it took a couple of days of fishing and a little baiting, but I finally got myself a good carp from the reservoir. Came out to be around uh, 10 to 12 pounds. It's a pretty good fish. Stunning common. And I'm just really happy to get off the mark a little bit sooner than, than last session. It's about noon now. And uh, last session I got my only bite around like 30 minutes before I left. So I still got a good portion of the day left. Hopefully I can get on another one, but this is a pretty good way to start a day. Awesome. This right hand side rod is on fire. I just put this rod back in and it's, and it's gone again. It's another tiny carp. Whew. It's trying to shake the, the hook. Oh, he jumped out. <sighs> Got him. Well, this one is just a tiny little carp. I'm just gonna put him right back. Thank you so much for the action, little guy. Oh, yes! Where, 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 where? It's the right hand rod again. <laughs> oh, this looks like a little bit, it might be a little better. I think this might be a carp too. It's feeling a little better than the last two, but definitely not as big as the, as the first one that we caught. It's another carp. I caught four carp on that session and one of them being very decent. And I also caught a small catfish, so I was pretty happy with how the campaign was going. It was a few weeks later until I was able to get back on the bank again, but this time I convinced my brother to join me to see if we can get him on his first carp. All right, so I'm back at the spot trying to catch a carp. It's a little bit later today, it's about 9.30, but I brought my brother with me today. Hey guys, what's up? And today we're gonna be trying to see if we can get him on his first carp because he still hasn't caught a carp yet. Yeah, I've never, I've never been with you fishing for carp, so this is my first time. I'm excited. Yep. Let's just uh, get the rods out and see if we can get one today. We missed a few bites that day and it was getting a little frustrating that I just couldn't get my brother on a carp. But right at the end, the rod screamed into life and this time it did not come unhooked. Which one is it? Don't tell me it came off again. It came off again. Oh my oh, goodness. No, no, no. Let it run, let it run. Last minute. Oh, I think it came off now, this time. Oh, no, 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 it didn't. no, it's just running towards you. Oh, no way. <laughs> we got one. We only had to wait all day. It was only all day. Let it run. If yeah, it yeah. Run. Oh, dude, it's a good one. Dude. It's a good one, yeah. This is heavy. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. It's heavy for sure. Yeah, take it easy. Oh, dude. <laughs> 
the sick. What? Dude, last minute. That was so. We were about to leave. We were fucking up. Yes! Oh, holy shit, he almost jumped out. Dude, yes! And there it is, my carp. <laughs> six pounds? We just, we just measured it, just weighed it. Six pounds. You know, my first carp ever. I'm excited about it. We were about to leave and uh, we decided to stay a couple of extra 10 minutes and uh, at the last possible second, uh, it decided to to take it, to take the bait, and uh, yeah, I, I thought it came off. It came off at first, but no, it was uh, it was still there. And uh, yeah, it's my first carp. <laughs> Thanks for letting me catch you. I hope you get fat enough so I can catch you another day. He left so calmly. <laughs> <laughs> it was about a week later until I was able to come down to the reservoir for my fourth session. At this point in the campaign, bites were very few and far between. I remember sitting next to the rods for hours without any bites. And I did miss a few bites on that session. And again, right at the end, I was able to catch a very small carp. This rod just went off. Oh, I got one. It's still on. <laughs> it feels really small. It's a tiny carp. It's such a small carp. All right, let's get him in. And the net. First carp of the day, and it's an absolutely microscopic. Alright, so I got the first carp of the day. It's absolutely tiny, probably like 10 ounces, but at least I'm not going home on the blank. A pretty cute little common. Sweet. Let's put him back. Get a bigger one. The next couple sessions, I just sat next to three motionless rods watching the world go by without any bites. It was getting colder and I was considering ending my campaign there. But something told me just to give it one more go and push on to try to catch a decent carp. So I came back about two weeks later to see if I could give it one last try and catch a decent carp. It's November 3rd and I am back at the reservoir to try to catch some carp. The last few times that I've been here it's been pretty bad and I haven't had a single bite on about three of the last sessions that I've done here. Today I've only brought two rods because I didn't want to commit the third rod since I'm not really feeling that confident of a bite. It's been quite cold these past few nights. It's quite pleasant at the moment, it's about 64 degrees air temperature so hopefully these fish come out to play today. But yeah, uh, I was thinking if uh, if I don't can get any bites today, this might actually be the last session of this campaign this year. Because it just feels like this fish have just completely moved off of the shallows and into deeper water. It's going to be very difficult to try to locate fish out in the deep. So I have about six hours today to try to catch on a fish. Hopefully I can get a couple. So we'll see. Oh, no way. We're on. It's only been like 10 minutes oh that's awesome i haven't had a bite in such a long time i just finished getting the intro done and we're hooked up it doesn't feel that big but it's a fish oh yes 
that feels good. I've had to put so much effort for a bite over the past month. Well, we're finally back in the fish again. Let's go. Okay. It's not big, but it's a list of fish. It's a good sign. It's gonna tell me that this fish haven't completely moved out of the area. Oh, I just woke up. He didn't like the net. Got him in the net. Whew. Really had to work hard for this fish. It's been three whole sessions without a bite, but finally I was able to get in a carp. That feels good. All right, so I've had to endure long hours and a lot of effort to try to get on another fish, but finally I got another one on the bank. It's not so big, it's actually a little skinny. It's got some good size to it, but just happy to see another fish on the bank. Wasn't feeling confident at all, but 10 minutes into the session and the left hand rod just ripped into life. Beautiful fish. Okay, I'm gonna have a recast. Pretty happy to have gotten on a fish. I really did not think I was gonna get on a fish today. All right guys, so it's currently 5 p.m. I've been hearing a lot of carp jumping on that far side. And I think it may be because the sun, you know, it's just warming up that side a little bit more as the day goes on. Haven't seen too many signs of fish on this side though. We got the one fish, so that's good. That tells me that it might still be worth coming back. Oh! There goes the rod! What was that? I was just talking. And the rod just screamed into life. Probably a small fish. It doesn't feel that big. But that's another fish. <laughs> what the heck? I was losing uh, faith that I was gonna catch another one today. It's a small fish. Yeah, it's a tiny, it's a tiny carp. Another small carp. It's got no barbels on it, so I'm thinking this might be uh, some type of hybrid. But at least uh, I'm still getting on some fish. All right, let's let this one go. Let's get that rod recast and see if we can uh, get on another one. Overall, I think the campaign could have gone a little better. I missed a lot of bites and I could have probably squeezed a couple more sessions in. But overall, I think my goal was just to become a better angler and be able to find and catch carp from a bigger reservoir. I do plan to fish more big reservoirs for carp in the future. So it was pretty good practice. For my first season, I think I did okay. And I'm pretty happy with how the campaign went. Hi, Doc. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me in this journey. Make sure you go hit that like button down below if you want to see another carp campaign in the coming 2023 season. You gotta go and smash that like button though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well while we're down there and I'll see you in the next one.